In this video, we're looking at how to use fractional powers, like in the case of 9 to the power of 3 over 2, where the power here is a fraction. These ones can be a bit confusing at first, so just bear with us through this first example, and then we'll go through a whole bunch of them. Whenever you see a fractional power like this, you want to think of the numerator and the denominator separately, where the numerator tells you the power that you need to raise your number to, and the denominator tells you the root that you need to take. So here, the 3 tells us that we need to cube the 9, and the 2 tells us that we need to take the second root, which just means the square root. The problem is that we can't do both of these operations at once, so we're going to have to do one of them first and then the other one. For example, we could do 9 cubed, which is 729, and then square root it to get 27, or we could take the square root of 9 first to get 3, and then cube that to get 27. And in general, this second option, where we take the root first, will be much easier, because we're working with smaller numbers rather than bigger ones. So overall, the way I would do this question is that when I see 9 to the power of 3 over 2, I'd rewrite it as the square root of 9, all cubed, so that I could simplify the root 9 to a 3, so that I'm left with 3 cubed, and then I would just do 3 cubed to get 27. Let's start off with some easier questions, where the fractional powers all have a 1 on the top, like 1 half, 1 third, 1 quarter, and so on. Because the numerators are all 1s, we effectively don't have to worry about the powers. We just take the root of whatever number is on the bottom. So for 16 to the power of 1 half, we'd have the square root of 16, which is 4. Then for 27 to the power of a third, we'd have the third root of 27, which is 3. Then 81 to the power of a quarter would be the fourth root of 81, which is also 3. And the x to the power of 1 fifth would be the fifth root of x, which we can't simplify any further, so we'd have to leave it like that. Now let's have a go at some slightly harder ones. For this first one, we're trying to do 8 to the power of 2 thirds. So because this 3 means cube root, and this 2 means square, you want to rewrite it as the cube root of 8, all squared, which we can then simplify. So the cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So our answer is 4. Next up, we have 27 to the power of 5 thirds, which means that we're going to have the cube root of 27 all to the power of 5, which we can then simplify to 3 to the power of 5, which is 243. This last one is a bit trickier, because our fractional power this time is negative, so we're going to have to sort that out first. If you remember from our previous video, Whenever you have a negative power, all you need to do is flip the whole thing upside down, turning it into 1 over 16 to the power of negative 3 over 2, and then make the power positive. So change the minus 3 over 2 to positive 3 over 2. So basically, this means exactly the same thing, but it now has a positive power, which makes it easier to work with, meaning that we can use the same technique as we were using before. So we do 1 over the square root of 16 cubed, which simplifies to 1 over 4 cubed, or just 1 over 64. The last thing we need to look at is what happens when you have a fraction that's raised to a fractional power. These questions basically use all of the rules that we've learned so far in one go. So for 9 over 16 to the power of 3 over 2, the first thing we'd do is apply the 3 over 2 power to the numerator and denominator separately. So 9 
to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Next, we can rewrite the top as the square root of 9 cubed and the bottom as the square root of 16 cubed, which simplifies to 3 cubed over 4 cubed, so 27 over 64. For this last one, we do basically the same thing, but because there's a negative sign on our power this time, we're going to have to flip the fraction upside down first, so that it becomes 8 over 125 all to the power of positive 4 over 3. Next, we're going to need to take our power and apply it to the numerator and denominator separately. So we have 8 to the power of 4 over 3 divided by 125 to the power of 4 over 3. And then we can rewrite that as the cube root of 8 to the power of 4 over the cube root of 125 to the power of 4. And then because the cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of 125 is 5, we can simplify it to 2 to the power of 4 over 5 to the power of 4, which is 16 over 625. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, then please do tell your friends and teachers about us. And cheers for watching.